What's up guys, this is John from Heavy Set Tactical. Back at you guys with another video, and this is on a <clears throat> newer knife company and a newer type of knife that I have zero experience with uh, prior to buying this, uh, this model from those guys. Now I have to say, I have seen literally nothing but 100 out of 100 percent based reviews, 5 out of 5 star reviews on every website I have searched this knife on. And I mean every single one, which is super weird as far as knives go. Um, at least there's always a 4 or a 3 star review with some sort of thing, and I'm telling you, I have not found a single biased or uh, uh, in any single way or aspect negative review. Or even, I wish they would have done this or used this material. The only thing I've seen bad about this knife is that some people don't like G10 handles, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. This is the F4 Bushcrafter by Reef Knives. <clears throat> now, again, I have no prior uh, uh, experience with this company. I saw a lot of the guys that I like watching on YouTube and some guys that I know in person that <clears throat> uh, purchased the F3 or F4 or the, uh, I think it's the F6 Luco. Now, this is, uh, again, the Reef Knives F4 Bushcrafter. It comes in CPM3V. It's got their cool little wolf logo there, CPM3V, with G10 handles. Now, I really respect... Um, basic and functional, you know, functionality. These guys make this knife, all three of their sizes of knife. This one, the three inch one, and then the six inch one in just green, black, or coyote tan kind of brown hand, uh, G10 handles. <clears throat> so I'm going to run through a couple specs and then tell you guys what my initial, uh, you know, views are on this knife. So, overall length is nine inches the blade length is four the cutting edge on it is about 3.85 or 3.9 uh, inches <laughs> I always say ounces uh, the blade width is 1.1 inch at its heaviest at its thickest the blade thickness is 530 seconds or 1.5625 inches 0.156 uh, inches so the blade material like I said earlier is CPM 3V I have a lot of experience with it. All my Bark Rivers are in CPM3V. I have a Lion Steel in CPM3V. And uh, I trust the steel. It's a, a blend of being super tough and corrosion resistant and edge retention is great. But you can you know, sharpen it and bring it back to life with a strop really easily in the field. I am a big stropper. I'm a, I believe in stropping is the best way to go and maintain your knives. So again, uh, let me just finish here. The hardness on the CPM3V, the HRC, is it's actually a cryo-treated instead of heat-treated 58 uh, to 60 HRC. So I think it's right around 59. The blade style is a drop point. It's a, uh, a convexed V edge. Um, the blade grind is like a slightly hollow saber grind. So it's got a little bit of, of, a, of a, like a swedge, a bevel to it. I really love for for woodworking or carving or feather sticking or even splitting some some uh, uh, thicknesses of wood. I love the edge on this knife. I really don't know how to explain it. You know, I've I've heard some other guys use this term that they really can't explain it, but everything about this knife just works. It's it's pretty heavy, um, so you know it's an acid stone wash. The hollow saber grind, uh, convex V edge. <clears throat> the length of the handle is five inches, so you have a four inch blade and a five inch handle. And I think I've said to you guys before, I really like handle heavy knives. I really like, um, you know, as much as the blade and blade length and type and grind and material are important uh, for me. I I I like knife knife companies that spend you know, a lot of thought process on their handles because it's important to me to have a really solid grip on my knives. And when I tell you that this big five inch handle 
just gives you room to to move around and and um, when I like I I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but I got pretty meaty hands. And when I tell you that this is the best grip I've had on any bushcrafting knife, it, you know, way 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 more comfortable um, than the Bark Rivers, which I know a lot of people are. I'm gonna catch some heat in the comments for saying that. I love Bark Rivers. Don't get me wrong, but man. That is the most comfortable handle I've ever held. Now, this is a, in my opinion, a premium, premium knife. This knife was about $350. <clears throat> um, right now, I think on the, one of the only places you can find the F4 right now in stock is on uh, Reef Knives, R-E-I-F-F, -F, Reef Knives uh, website. Now, it is $334 US dollars on their website right now um and and i gotta be honest guys i usually go through blade hq or knife center or knife ship free or dlt trading and i ordered this knife and it was at my house in central pennsylvania i think they are down in uh shoot um let me see real quick where is reef knives located so Reef, Reef knives are in Dallas, Texas. That's what I thought, Texas. When I tell you that this knife was on my front porch, it said, uh, you know, on my tracking app for all the packages I have coming in, uh, I use a, an app called Route. It's free, you know, and it tells you exactly where your stuff is and how long and blah, blah, blah. Uh, it said it was coming on the third day, and it showed up on the second day. So literally, I ordered it... Uh, three days ago and got it this morning uh two days ago and got it this morning so the extremely fast shipping um i got a bunch of personalized emails you know hoping that i hope hope we hope you're enjoy you're enjoying or enjoyed uh you know the knife we sent you any feedback is welcome blah blah, blah. and i know the guy that owns reef knives uh kind of left his day job behind and took a chance and started uh, making some premium knives here um, super functional, super functional. Now the weight on this is actually pretty heavy uh, for for a nine inch, you know, four inch blade. I think it's that big G10 handle that's a lot of the weight. Uh, you know, the the balance point is more about right there, right there on this knife. So it's a little further back. Most are right at that nut or right right above that nut. This one's about right there exactly the balance point. This knife comes in at 7.7 7 ounces. Uh, and, you know, I think you guys have heard me say a lot of times when it comes to Kydex sheaths, it does have a ferro rod holder, but it has to be, a, you know, the, this exact size of ferro rod. Uh, or else you could heat it up and, I guess, enclose it if it's a little thinner. Or open it up if it's a little thicker. I'm sure you can. Yeah, they left an overlap there so you can heat it with a heat gun and pushers through. Um, you know, and you can always take it off and put any other kind of, uh, you know, ulti clip or utility clip on there. Now, this is a 360 degree rotating rubber buffer, uh, you know, like a rubber gasket um, sheath. And, you know, that's right, right in front of the balance point. So if you have it like this, or I should say like this for a scout carry, it actually works out. Um, it's got decent grab. Now it is plastic, it's not metal. So, you know, I've just been carrying mine for the entire day, uh, uh, horizontal, or I'm sorry, vertical carry. Now I've said in the past, when it comes to Kydex sheaths, I love the positive clip. It's got a decent thumb ramp there that's not sharp. The positive click for me to make sure that you know your knife is engaged if you have it behind you or on your, on the side and you can't see it. You know, that positive click is very important to me. When this knife came, I said to myself, it kind of looks a little a little funny. You know what I mean? It does not look like any of the other knives that I've I've received. So it came, and I was like, what the heck? That Kydex looks really strange. Got a nice drainage hole. Um, you know, so it, it, it was just, it was kind of weird. <clears throat> and then, um, and then I put the knife in it, 
and and it's got that amazing retention and I was just super pleased with it uh, when I tell you no rattle that's that was this hitting there zero rattle so I'm going to rate the Kydex sheath uh, a, a 9 out of 10. It's a little tight on the retention. I'd like to, you know, I'm sure it'll wear in a little bit. I'd like to see that kind of opened up a little bit. But the sheath is a 9 out of 10 and the knife is a 10. I, I ran it through, uh, you know, a, a decent amount of feather sticks and, and cut some smaller branches by doing some real pressured uh, V cuts until it punched through and you know, hit it with a strop for two seconds and, and you know, maybe ten, ten swipes per side and it's just right back to razor sharp. Um, I think I only have like a post-it note, which isn't the best, but I mean, th this is the, the, the edge out of the box. Razor. Razor sharp. Post-it notes always fold over after a couple cuts for some reason. Great 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 edge on there so you know I'm I usually take off the secondary edge on um, most knives you know I know the only other people I really see doing that that are adamant about that are the DBK boys <laughs> love the guys at DBK um, and and Gideon's tactical has a great review of this knife he tells you a little bit of the backstory about the owner of the company um, you know so again from what I from what I can tell you up front so far, I am not in any way disappointed about the price. You know, it is a premium premium price you're paying for CPM 3V and the 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 fit and finish. You know, I I love custom knives. I and I love semi custom. I guess you could say like Bark River knives, things like that, uh, that are using other handle materials and have variety. But when it comes to a production a, a high-end production knife that the fit and finish on this thing I mean you can't even you can't even hit your fingernail on that the fit and finish um, the the blade uh, geometry and material and the coating is super super good uh, good on there it has that that stone wash but it's like a uh, I guess I know that there's some sort of, you know, I, I, it's a stone wash. It's an acid stone wash, which gives it that darker color. Uh, but I think there's another kind of additive that they use on there. Um, but man, just and I love how the the stone wash, acid stone wash, runs the entire um, full tang. You know, it's a full tang constructed knife. I put the little piece of paracord on there because I thought it looked a little better, and I could put my pinky in there if I needed to you know swing it a little little broader but yeah honestly man this knife you know 20 out of 20 10 out of 10 100 out of 100 really great drainage on the end fire stick a uh, little retainer there which I always appreciate the only other real kydex sheaths with the that I have anyway with that is uh, the White River Firecraft, and I have the White River, um, shoot, the Ursus 45, White River Ursus 45 has a great Kydex sheath. So again, I don't know if I'm that huge about the retention of this uh, clip here. You know, I'll let you guys know after a little while. Uh, it does not spin around. If I put it somewhere, it's it stays there. You know, it does not swing around unless you really put some pressure on it. So I really like the clip, trust me, but you know, I, I, I think metal's a little more sturdy. Um, I'll, I'll have to put some serious, serious uh, weight on there and kind of see what happens. And if I break it, I break it. But it's nice to know kind of where where things stand. Um, so, yeah, the, that is the uh, F. It says F4 USA there, by the way, and then CPM3V 3, 3 there. So this is the F4 Bushcrafter by Reef Knives. And so far, you know, I, I've watched a ton of random, uh, uh, you know, this is a newer company, newer knives. I've watched a ton of random little videos and shorts on YouTube about it. And everybody's in love with them. And I totally see why. I, I am in love with this knife. I don't think, 
you know, I don't think any of my tactical everyday carries or my smaller EDC uh, size blades are going to really take this is, this knife's place on my side for quite some time. So I'll, maybe I'll do a follow up down the road. But uh, you know, like always, <clears throat> I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. All these knives I pay for out of pocket because it's my hobby and my passion, and I love sharing that with you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing some custom handle, handle scales out of uh, black, black, um, green, and blue micarta on a few of my knives. I got the Falk Neven, or the Fall Neven S1X, and again, the, the grip was great on it, but I don't like the scales. I need a little bit more body in the handle, kind of like this G10 with the Coke bottle uh, that's, that's not too thick, because this one is just flawless when I tell you this is the most flawless grip I've ever had on a g10 knife handle you know g10 scale I'm not lying so um, yeah just great fit and finish quality material love the material um, but I'm gonna be doing some custom uh, uh, knife scales and some custom handle jobs on a few of my knives to show you guys um, you know, it's always been a passion of mine to kind of get into some of the customization of these because I enjoy other people's handiwork so much and I kind of want to, you know, branch branch out and start doing some of that. So, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, I hope you guys have a great, fantastic week. Finally, it's going to stop raining in central Pennsylvania, so I'm going to try to get out and uh, shoot some video with a friend of mine on his um, compound and his trails. So... You guys have a great week. Stay safe. Um, you know, stay stay safe, stay dry, stay warm, and always, man, stay heavy.